Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ovio Magege, has appealed to members of the reformed Niger Delta Avengers RNDA to halt its planned attacks on oil facilities in the region. According to him, going ahead with their threat would create economic setback for the country and additional environmental degradation in the area. A coalition of nine militant groups in the Niger Delta region had expressed readiness to resume hostilities by attacking oil and gas facilities if the federal government did not meet the demands of NSAS protesters across the country. Wellington Ukrika, the Delta Central lawmaker, assured the groups that their demands would be tabled before the presidency. And joining us live is Joseph Eva, who's a Niger Delta activist. Good to have you, Mr. Eva. Thank you. You are welcome. Right now, as a Niger Delta activist and leader, are you joining in the appeal to the renewed uh, Niger Delta Avengers not to blow up the pipelines over the answers of protesters' demands? Yeah, thank you. Um, we have told our children uh, this is not the time to do violence in Niger Delta because uh, the presidency. The whole world is watching. The answers uh, protest, you know, for the first time, this generation, young people, they come together with one voice, and the whole world applauds the, the, their demands. And the presidency, the government is working on that. Yeah, because with uh, this warehouse that were opened for the masses to go and collect food, Although they call them brutal, but in the first place, the governors, the shameless governors that we have, I know by now they are ashamed, starving our people with food and all that. So we should know how to concentrate our demand, asking our lawmakers, our governors to also reason with us, not to destroy pipeline. The presidency is working on it. In fact, the presidency responds immediately. The NSIS demands were made public. And apart from that, there are other things that were revealed again to us that our governors are problem to this country. So those are things that we have to really sit down and send another demand to our government. Mm -hmm. how, will, how, how can they be accountable? It is not destruction of pipeline. Right. In can the I first place, you? any destruction to carry out on the pipeline affect our generation even children yet unborn we cannot do any activities any economic activities we are destroying our own land we have told them that and they also promised to reason with us because we cannot destroy our own land in the name of protest right I and mean, if i may also ask you there have been conversation you know wondering if there is any connection uh, between police brutality and the deprivation in niger delta well uh, anything in justice Anything in justice, uh, there is no different color. Anything in justice, injustice is injustice. So, but police brutality, um, what the Nigerian youths are even asking for, go beyond police brutality. Take care of our police. Let our police be treated like American policemen, like British police, policemen. This is their brutality, we also go. They are fighting for the policemen. It was who. Uh, Criminals that I got the process to be killing policemen. The answers protesters are not enemies of the Nigerian police. Never. They want working conditions that will be good for them so that they will also take care of our situation in terms of security. I mean, you touched on this uh, a bit, but I want to know your take uh, over the federal government's seemingly quick reaction to the answers demands. The, the quick reaction... The federal government's quick reaction to the NSAS demands. What's we shall not the federal that? government for that quick reaction. The only thing is that we have a way of life in this country. People, the government people take, they will fold their hands, they will make promises, they will fold their hands, and when the team becomes like a fire brigade approach, that is the sickness in, in, the, in the brain of our people, our leaders. Instead of them to take a fair, I mean, instant. Uh, actions that we, people bring that tension, they will be making promises. They will be telling lies. For example, it is unacceptable for the president to say that the international community should ask 
about what is happening here before they comment on our situation. Ah, is it like Mohammed that you tell us, uh, tell the president something? Even now, as we speak, like Mohammed is ashamed. Well, uh, it's a shame of his death. If we move the away. international community that we brought back uh, weapon to handle the uh, Boko Haram problem. Who caused the Boko Haram? Is it not uh, security people that were to kill the, the leader of Boko Haram? And no. look at the problem we are facing. M Mr. Uh, Eva, let, let's stick to the conversation so we don't derail uh, a bit. Now, the federal government has concluded plans to empower some youths with 2.5 billion naira funds. Uh, will this address some of the issues that you yourself are raising there? It will address what is not enough. Because the amount of money that lawmakers, lawmakers are wasting in the name of lawmakers. I expected even the uh, 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 physical mobilization committee or what they call as the commission. So even I expected the president to ask that commission to announce the reduction of the salaries of lawmakers and all that. Now, he has to applaud the president. They are wasting billions and billions of naira in that as so the money that the president approved for you is even not up to 1% as far as I'm concerned. Reduce the money that we are wasting in the national assembly. Let Nigerians applaud the president. All right, we would like to continue this conversation, but we are pressed for time, unfortunately. Thank you so very much for your time, Mr. Eva, and we'll keep safe out there as well. Take care.